But now we will look at the second measure, which is the mean first passage time. So this is the average number of hops, okay, that the random walker traverses to reach his destination. Okay, so now we, we, want, now, we, want, we want to know what is the average number of steps, the average age, okay, that's going to take to reach uh, the destination. So how we define this, so let xi denote the number of steps or hops a random walker uh, needs to take to go from node i to node j. So, and this was uh, introduced in the paper by Wong and Pei in 2008. So let's look at th these definitions one by one. So here, what we have, this is, you know, the number of steps of uh, the number of steps that a random walker needs to take. Okay, there's a J missing. Okay, uh, a random walker needs to take to go from I to J. It's expressed as the probability. So look at this. This is the probability of a random walker requiring more than T hops to arrive at node J. Okay. So this is uh, what is the probability that our walker, okay, will go from I to J in more then T hops, okay? So uh, next, so what we do, if we sum this, so it means that we're looking at all um, the possible number of steps, okay? So T is the number of hops, so we're varying it from zero to infinity. And then this happens to be exactly the sum of probabilities of the walker, okay, is still being at one node, at uh, one of the uh, other nodes than j after exactly t hops. So this is this term right here is exactly this term, the definition that we have there. Okay? You guys get that? I'll give you a minute to read it. Just wrap your head around it. It makes sense, right? If you read it, it makes sense. So it means like, I have still not reached my node J. That's what it means. Like in, in T hops, I'm still somewhere else. I still need, which means I need more than T hops to reach J. Okay? So it's very um, um, intuitive. Now, uh, let's look at this. So what is this, guys? This is actually a geometric series, right? So if you do the sum, we exchange these two sums, okay, summations, and we know the u is a probability, so it's between 0 and 1, okay? So this is what we call the geometric series, and a geometric series is, like, this is a definition, so uh, the limit that it has is uh, if you have a constant a times uh, r to the power of n, where n varies between uh, from 0 to infinity, and the r is bounded between negative 1 and 1, then this is actually uh, the, the, the value to which this sum will converge, okay? So here it means that we have 1 minus r to the power of negative 1, and this is exactly what we have here. So this means that the average number of hops to, uh, for the random walker to reach his destination is defined as the sum over all nodes of this quantity, okay? So now we can compute it. But what do you guys know? This There is a remark here. So we know that uh, this summation actually, right here, it includes what? Uh, we know that we're summing, also the n can be equal to j, but we have excluded the j, right? But you need to keep in mind that this element, this row, is set to zero. So even if we include it in the summation and not exclude it, it will be, we'll just be adding zeros, okay? Great, so now we know how to uh, define the average number of steps and compute them based on our matrix U. And next, we reach our ultimate definition, which is the diffusion efficiency.